Nick from Dirt King Fabrication. Today we're going to be working on a 2020 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss. This customer reached out to us because he had purchased a kit from another manufacturer and was instantly running into issues and wanted to see what he could do to fix the problems. A couple of problems that he had were first, he couldn't get the kit on. Uh, he was having issues with the lower uniball contacting the inside of the spindle, which we'll show you those once we get the kit apart. Uh, another problem that he had was running through alignments. He had four different shops do four alignments on it and could never keep it into alignment. Uh, one of the issues, you can see that the lower control arm where it goes into the pocket, uh, the arm was not manufactured to the same width as the OEM pocket, uh, causing the pocket to crush. The alignment pins fell out and the truck was not able to hold an alignment. We'll show you more once we start taking the kit apart. So here we have both sides of this truck stripped down. Uh, this side we still have the uh, original kit installed. We did take the spring off the coilover, cycled it to bump. So we're going to check the overall travel on this kit. So this kit uses an OE replacement shock, which is a five and a quarter inch travel shock. Uh, so you can see by our measurement here, we are at 27 and a quarter at full bump and 16.75 at droop, giving us 10 and a half inches of overall travel. So you can see measuring to the bottom of the hub, we're at 27 and a quarter inches. And then we can pull the jack out. So here we are at 16.75 fully drooped uh, for an overall of 10 and a half inches of travel. So this shock is an OE replacement shock. It does have a rubber bump stop on the shaft. With this bump stop fully compressed, it's a five and a quarter travel shock. And what they did is they moved the shock inboard on the control arm to get the amount of travel that it has problem that you're going to run into is valving. You're running such a high compression valving to compensate for the leverage that's on the shock that you're really going to feel that on the small bumps. So that's going to equate to a very harsh ride on the street. On this side we have our Dirt King fabrication kit installed. Uh, this kit is three and a half inches over per side. This uses our long travel spec King coilover which is an eight inch stroke coilover. You can see on this kit we're at 27.75 at full bump and 14.75 at droop, giving us an overall of 13 inches of travel. And you can see on the shock shaft, we did leave 3 eighths of an inch to simulate the lower spring retainer that's not currently installed. So you can see with this kit, cycling our full eight inch travel shock, we are getting a full 13 inches of travel. Uh, that's two and a half inches more than the competitor's kit. And if you look at the measurements, that's a half inch more of bump travel and two inches more of droop travel. Here we have our two inner CV cups. This is an unmodified factory CV cup here. And this is our machined cup. You can see what we do since our kit does get an additional two inches of droop travel. We machine the inner CV with a 25 degree angle to prevent any axle bind at full droop. So here we have the two lower control arms. This was the previously installed kit. And this is our Dirt King fabrication lower control arm. Uh, looking at them right off the bat, you can see the difference in manufacturing quality. Uh, our arm also uses the OEM lower control arm bushings uh, for a precision fit in the control arm pocket. Uh, this manufacturer uses a Delrin bushing and a machined inner sleeve. And you can see the problem here is that the sleeve is not machined to the same width as the bushing. Uh, this causes the arm to be able to walk back and forth on the sleeve and then causes premature wear on the bushings. If you look at this bushing here, you can see how chewed up it is. And this is actually the second bushing that's been on this truck in 10,000 miles. Uh, it's eight through two sets of bushings. And then looking at the two arms, you can see that this one here has a cavity for the CV boot going in, where ours has a press brake design for optimal clearance on the CV. Here we have two OEM spindles. These are both from the same side of the vehicle. Uh, this was from the previously installed kit. You can see the uniball cup was grinding on the inside of the spindle, as well as the bottom side of the spindle by the spindle taper spacer, uh, causing damage to the spindle. So the customer did have to purchase a new set of OEM spindles. And you can see this is what it is supposed to look like factory.
Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any more questions, you can reach out to our sales department. You can either call the shop or email sales at dirtkingfabrication.com.